Okay, let's talk about how to solve basic equations with fractions. Something like this equation right here, uh, 2 thirds m is equal to 1 fifth. If you think you know how to solve for m in this basic equation, go ahead and check your understanding and put your answer into the comment section. Of course, I'm going to solve this later on in the video, but the topic of this video is simply how do you deal with uh, equations when you have uh, fractions involved and we're just going to keep it nice and basic with these one-step uh, equations because to solve for m here it literally re uh, just requires us to take one step so I'm going to show you the long way to solve this uh, type of equation then I'm going to show you the easiest way to solve these type of fractional equations in just one second but first let me quickly introduce myself my name is John I'm the founder of TC Math Academy I'm also a middle and high school math teacher I've been teaching math for decades and over all those years I've uh, learned that all students can be successful in mathematics so if you're willing to learn uh, then what you need is great math instruction and that's where I can help you out super clear and understandable way of learning mathematics if uh, you know if you don't think you have that right now you definitely want to check out my math help program if you're at the middle school high school or even college level uh, I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video check it out I'm pretty sure it will help you out also if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test with a math section I'm talking about things like the GED SAT ACT ASVAB teacher certification exam, all those type of exams I can help you out. If you homeschool, I have great homeschool math courses. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into how to solve these basic equations with fractions, an absolutely necessary skill if you uh, plan on succeeding in algebra. All right, so here I have two basic equations. We have 2m is equal to 10. And let's just start here and review how to solve this basic equation for m. Now, if you don't know how to solve this equation, then this video here might be um, a little bit too much for you, but this is what we call uh, one-step equations because to solve these equations, this requires uh, one step. And in this case, when you have a number in front of the variable like this, we call that a coefficient, all we need to do is simply divide both sides of the equation by that number. So to solve for m, I'm gonna divide both sides of the equation by two and you'll get m is equal to five okay now two divided by two is one so that would be one m but anytime you have a one in front of a variable we don't need to write that we can just simply uh, leave it like this so m is equal to five and that is the solution to this equation here okay so pretty uh, straightforward and now let's go ahead and take a look at this equation so you you might be saying to yourself well here's a number in front of this variable the last time we divided both sides of the equation by this number two, okay? So wouldn't we do the same thing here? Well, in fact, you would be correct. So to solve for m, I can divide both sides of the equation by three. So that's the, it would look like this on the left-hand side, but how would it look on the right-hand side? Well, it would look like this, right? Because we have one half and we want to divide it by three. Well, this right here confuses students because this is a complex fraction. So a better way to write this or understand what's going on here is to say, okay, we have one half divided by three or one half divided by three or three over one. Okay, so how do you divide fractions? Hopefully you know how to work with fractions. If you don't, remember when, you, uh, when you're dividing fractions, you need to flip this fraction upside down and this becomes multiplication. So this is the same as one half times one over three and our answer is 1 6. So m is equal to 1 6. That is the solution to this equation right here. Now, this is actually the long way of doing this problem. Okay. Uh, it's technically correct. And you're like, well, you know, you divide both sides of the equation by two when there's a number in front of that coefficient, like so. You would be right, but there's a better way of doing this problem. And let me go ahead and show you that now. So let's erase this. And recall, the answer is 1, 6. M is equal to 1, 6. But how do we get that? What's an easier approach? Well, I'm going to show you that. All right, so here we have 3M is equal to 1 half. So anytime you're working with a fractional equation, okay, instead of creating a complex fraction, what you can do is take this uh, number in front of the variable. In this case, it's 3 and just multiply each side by the reciprocal of that number. So how can we write the number three as a fraction? 
So some of you might be saying, well, it's not a fraction, it's just a number. No, you can make any number a fraction by just putting it over one, because three divided by one is in fact the same thing as three. So we can think of three as a fraction as just three over one. So what you wanna do is multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal. Now the reciprocal means that you just flip this number. So three over one, the reciprocal would be one third. Now, if I multiply the left-hand side by one, uh, one third, you need to multiply the other side, the right-hand side by one third, because one third times three over one is, let's just go ahead and do this really the long way. One third times three over one is the same thing. Remember, you multiply across is the same thing as three over three or one. So this right here becomes one M or just M. And of course, this is gonna be equal to one six. Remember when you're multiplying fractions, you simply multiply the respective numerators and denominator. So the answer is one uh, M is equal to one six or one M is equal to one six. And that's what we got previously. Okay, so this is the best way to solve um, equations with fractions. And now let's go ahead and take a look at that problem that I showed you in the beginning of the video. All right, so here we have a fraction in front of this variable right here. We have another fraction right here. It doesn't make a difference if you have a number or a fraction. It, it always works the same way. So whatever is in front of the variable, okay, of course, we're dealing with fractions here. Just uh, flip it upside down, okay? Of course, that's called the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of two-thirds is three-halves. So we're going to multiply the left-hand side by three-halves and the right-hand side by three-halves as well. Okay, and if you do that, uh, you will get the correct answer. All right, so uh, th uh, three halves, excuse, <laughs> got a little tongue twisted there. Three uh, halves times two thirds, is, we got three times two is what? Well, that, let's just go and write this out the long way. That's six, and then two times three is what? That is six as well. So that's six M. So six divided by, or six over six M. So six divided by six is one or 1m, or simply m. And of course, on the right-hand side, when we multiply fractions, we got one times three is three, five times two is 10. There you go, that is the answer. So m is equal to three tenths. Okay, so let me just erase this here. And uh, let's go ahead and see this again in action. So we see our variable, I'm sorry, we see our um, fraction, two thirds m. So remember, you're gonna flip it upside down. That's three halves, you're gonna multiply uh, both the left hand right uh, right the left and right hand side of the equation by the reciprocal and when you do that you will get the correct answer the solution to this equation of course will be m is equal to three tenths okay so that is the easiest way to deal with fractions with variables now of course you can have much more complicated um, equations with fractions things like let's say two thirds m minus one sevenths is equal to nine plus uh, m, something like that. But that's for another video. The main idea here is how do you solve basic one-step equations when there is a fraction either in front of the variable or when we have a fraction, like in this case here, where we have three m is equal to one half. So if you remember this little uh, tactic, it will make your life much easier when you're dealing with equations with fractions. Okay, so if this video helps you out, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And by the way, if you got this uh, answer right and you're like, I already knew all this stuff, don't let me uh, forget to give you a nice little happy face and A plus for being such an awesome math student. But remember, uh, algebra, mathematics is really about skills. Okay, you're gonna have to learn things one skill at a time and there really is no shortcut. So if you're frustrated, Believe me, you can learn um, all this stuff. But you just got to figure out what skills you're missing, and that's where I can help you out. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.